What's new in Calipay 2.3? The new update of your 3D animation app for iPad. If you want to read the complete list of features and improvements, go to your settings here, then about, show release note, and then you can see everything. The main feature of this update of Calipeg is blend modes. In that example here, the blend modes helped a lot to get this lighting. To use blend modes, go to a drawing layer, tap on the menu, and tap on the blend mode. For now, it's on divide, but you have many options to achieve different effects. If you want more details about blending modes to know what it is and how it works, I recommend you to see that video from Genevieve's Design Studio all about blending modes and how to use them in digital art. It's a really complete video and it will help you understand what to use in what situation. So remember, tap on the menu of a layer and then go to blend modes. And if you don't know what these icons mean, you can always tap on the eye here and get an explanation. The second feature of that update is the hover mode. On compatible iPads, you can see the location of your brush without touching the screen. It will take the minimum value of your brush regarding the pressure here. So if I go to 1, it will be a really tiny dot. And when I draw, it will show the correct size of the pressure applied. If your iPad doesn't have the hover mode, you can still show your cursor while drawing. Just go to the settings here. In canvas, show cursor while drawing. And then if I want to draw on its head, I tap here, tap on the head and go to that layer. That was just to show you again how you can easily select a layer in Calipeg. And from here, I will just select my shadow color and draw. And now when I'm drawing and painting, I always select that option here. We also added a new layer at the bottom of the layer spile, which is canvas color. And now you can hide the canvas color. So you will see your background color, which you can set here behind your shot. And you can just tap here and change the background color. In Calipeg, you can create cycles. For that, you have to select multiple sheets with the tap, then tap and drag. You can also tap in the menu here, select all the sheets, and now tap on add a cycle. I want my animation to be back and forth, so I tap on the mode here, and then ping pong. I extend until I see a right line. And now I have my animation going back and forth. The new feature here is that you can transform your cycle with a single transformation. Double tap on the cycle to select it, then go to transform. You can see the transformation box having the entire distance to by your animation. Then I can transform, move it here, validate, and I transform my cycle all at once. We also improved the audio scrubbing experience. Remember that you can go here in the settings Go to Timeline and allow play audio when scrubbing. And we improved that part, so now you can hear your audio scrubbing if you're using Bluetooth headphones. We also improved the invert feature. Remember that you can select a few sheets here, then tap invert. But now you can also tap on two different sheets separated by a gap or other sheets. And if you invert, it will invert them if they have the same length. If you have any question, you can ask it in the comments or go to calipeg.com and go to the contact page. You can try Calipeg for free for 7 days and then you can choose one-time payment or subscription. You can watch the complete guide and learn how to use Calipeg in this video here. We hope that you will enjoy this new update and now have fun animating with Calipeg.